um, maybe a little bit of an update in here. Um, I haven't really been doing too much this week. I uh, worked on the Ford dealer a little bit. I'll show you what I did with that. Um, today was my birthday. Um, yesterday my dad came over and I got a few things. Uh, first of all, my wife, um, I think I told you this before, got me this for my birthday as well as uh, I'm going to get um, two buildings for my town down there from John Tanzillo. So uh, that worked out great. Um, so I'm going to show you a couple of uh, few things I got for the layout. <laughs> Uh, first of all is this, um, who is this, this is Showcase uh, Miniatures, and uh, this is a nice radio tower uh, in scale. This is going to go down, or I'm going to have an interlock tower uh, going with some signals, and uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put this next to the interlock tower, so it's going to be great. Um, and I got a couple of these. Uh, Atlas, uh, well, these might be micro, these are micro trains, actually. These are really nice. Uh, I got a couple of these trailers, so I'm going to use them in my in industries down here. I like to get a few more, whether they're Concord, Atlas, um, sorry about that. doesn't really matter, because um, I want to get some for my industries that I have going on here on the layout. But you can't have uh, trailers without these uh, little Ford uh T500s or whatever they are, trucks, um, beautiful. Now, there's one more thing I did get. Um, I'll show you here in the next clip, but I got a new um, Intermountain um, SD40 Illinois Central Golf to match my other one. However, this one has the ESU Loc sound in it. Uh, so I just programmed the addresses of both of them, as well as my two Amtrak FP40s. Um, my Bachman Santa Fe, I tried to program it, it wouldn't. So it's going to run on three. I don't know what the deal is with it other than it's a Bachman. So, <laughs> um, but I also got uh, two tank cars too, because I only have one right now that I use. I think it's a little bit older one, but I'm going to use it. It looks okay. Um, but these are two nice uh, Santa Fe, and then I don't remember what the other one is. Um, let me see here. It's uh, Shell Oil. So I got a Santa Fe and a Shell Oil. Super nice. Uh, they're micro trains. They're going to be in this consist I'm going to show you uh, here in a minute. But first, I'll show you what they actually look like and I'll show you a little bit of an update. So stay tuned. Well, okay. Here is my locomotive. Um, I did put the details on this today. Uh, the fence shades, this little uh, ID thing they put on or whatever was shopped. Uh, same on this one I did. My other one put the fence shades on it too. It had a couple other details, I believe, for radio boxes. But I, I looked at the proto photos and I'm not even sure really where they go on these. So that being said, I just left them. Someday I may figure them out, but I do have them. Uh, but these look great. These will be, I hate to say it, eventually weathered to kind of match the time period uh, so they'll be a little dirty <laughs> now um, let me go all the way down to this consist that I have here let me move the camera here are my two uh, tank cars that I got Intermountains um, very beautiful uh, cars I really like those I don't have any like I said very many tank cars now I got a couple to go um, in industries so that's uh, very cool um, one thing I did do, I'll come down here and I'm going to show you my Ford dealer. Um, this is for programming when I used it. So, I got the dealer built. Um, used what I could for the top. For, for roofs, this will work. I would not recommend building anything other than roads or possibly a roof or maybe like an awning or something with that stuff. But I did the, did the dealer, put the windows in. I uh, got to clean up this window here in the front a little bit around here. Uh, made these signs with, uh, of course, styrene and uh, uh, this is an I beam because that's all I really had to use for post right now. Um, so I'd use that, and I think it looks okay from a distance. You really can't tell. Um, but I made the A1 used car uh, sign too, and it looks great. Got a couple billboards to make. Um, but uh, that's what it's going to do. And of course, my big building over here, John Tanzillo is going to make, as well as a strip mall. 
and then the industry part will be done now i did get another building i bought this off ebay cheap um got it for like seven bucks uh, i might kind of detail it up weather it a little bit but uh looks really nice there um, I think I'll leave it there because the station's right here, so it'll be an open area for people to park. What my plan is, is to kind of do a wedding, which I think would be cool. So I'll just uh, maybe have people and a bride and groom coming out. Um, that'll be in the future for sure. But uh, this looks really good here. I think it fits nice. Uh, good spot for it. And then along here, I want to eventually have three houses or maybe two houses. Um... I think that's I think there's plenty of room there for three uh, so that's what I'm gonna do and uh, so that's pretty much what I'm gonna work on over the next couple days as well as tidy up my road put in my little road signs um, that's my plan this week so now <laughs> let's get this sound locomotive going and uh, I'll show you a little consist running around the layout